Hello guys, I am quite excited for this video. I feel like I don't even know where to start. This week I'm going to take you through a week in the life as a uh, third year marketing student and I also on the side of that work part time remotely. I did one of these videos at the start of the semester and if you're a university student as you know the start of the semester is nothing like the rest of the semester. So we're currently in week 10. I think. I feel like there's a lot of people like year 13s out there right now trying to make those big decisions of where to go, what to study, whether they take a gap year, whether they go to uni, whether they just get a job, whether they go traveling because you can do that now which I'm so jealous about. Yeah if you're new here this is your first time seeing my face. What's up? It's currently quarter past eight in the morning on a Monday. This vlog is going to be more about university as opposed to my work so to give you a really quick rundown of my work just so that you know what's happening I'm like I've got work. I'm a community coordinator for a social media agency based in Auckland. I'm obviously working remotely here in Hamilton and I do like 15 to 20 hours a week for them so my job as a community coordinator is to jump in on behalf of all the clients and reply to comments and messages um, just basically act as their social media profiles alongside that I do some copywriting for posts and scheduling of posts and just all the behind the scenes stuff that you don't see when social media happens. Before I started working for this company I had no idea, like I've worked in social media like with my own platform since like 2019. I had no idea what went, actually no 2018, so I had no idea what actually went on behind the scenes when it's done like properly and professionally. So it's been very eye opening for me. So that's in a nutshell what I do. I You will hear me say oh I've got work quite frequently because I have to do three short shifts a day. So morning, midday and like evening. So I can jump in and make sure that any messages have been replied to in a timely manner. So anyway, I have a class at nine so I need to jump on and do my morning bit of work and I will catch you guys during my class probably which I'm also doing online because I don't have time to get to campus with work and stuff so you pick your battles when you're a student. And just like that my first little part of work is done for the week. It is now time to sign in and do my lecture. Um, as I was saying because of COVID and because I work from home it is a lot easier for me to just do my classes online. Personally, I probably would rather go to campus, but you also have to pay for parking when you go to campus, which is like $2.50 a pop, and like that adds up. You can go into class and watch it live, obviously, with COVID, but you have to wear a face mask, and I'm not like an anti-masker by any stretch of the imagination, but I get a really bad rash on my face when I wear a face mask, and it gets really, really uncomfortable, so I just don't want to put myself through that, and I feel like I take more in when it's online. I don't know. I feel like I concentrate better when it's in person, but when it's online I can rewind it and pause it and jump back and forth and take screenshots of the notes and yeah, so I don't know. In an ideal world I probably would go in in person, but just picking my battles honestly. This class goes for two hours and this is my marketing class on modern professional selling. So yeah, it's all about like being a salesperson and how to go about it, the most effective um, strategies to use and stuff like that. So it's actually been super interesting. It is a compulsory paper. If you're wondering what my setup is for how I take notes, so this is where I have the lecture that'll come up. It'll just turn up in here when it's ready. Um, and then on my laptop I have um, my notes. So I have a doc for each week of notes and then at the top I just do the date, the class and what week it is. Then I have the title of the lecture and then I just chuck my notes in. There, um, but it's. I need to refresh this and see why is this not coming through. No, it should show up there. To answer like the questions for the year 13s out there, or the year 12s, or year 11s, if you're really organized, or yet who knows, you might even be year 10 watching this. When you go to university, if you do like the standard structure, you have four papers per semester, so you have two, two semesters per year, so first half, second half of the year, and then each of those semesters you have four papers, which is like four different classes, and um, they just call them papers because that's just university terminology just to confuse you a little bit more and class is done it is three minutes to 11 so yeah two hour class done and dusted not gonna lie I wasn't concentrating as much as I should have been but that's okay we had a guest speaker and when she left the lecture I was like wow she was so interesting and I was like was she? I have to be back at work like sitting on my computer ready for a meeting at half past 11. I've got half an hour to have a bit of morning tea. Let's, let's go have morning tea together. I have some crackers and some dip. If you saw my previous, I think it was the previous vlog, might have been two vlogs ago, I made some dark chocolate bark stuff 
and I've made it twice with dark chocolate and oh, it is so good. It is insane. And so I decided on the weekend, I didn't have any dark chocolate, but I was really craving some. So I made some with the Whitaker's Blondie chocolate. And so it, oh, it's just so good. All right, it is 10 minutes to two and I have class in person at three o'clock. So I need to probably, I don't know, leave it like quarter to three maybe so I can give myself a chance to put myself together and go to class. This afternoon is my marketing class and we have a massive like assignment due this Sunday which we've pretty much done. We're pretty organized. It was a marketing thing so we had to come up with this like product and then create an audio visual report so it couldn't be a narrated powerpoint. It had to be anything but a narrated powerpoint. Some sort of video um, to talk about the brand positioning elements and communication. So we made this fake candle. I'm just gonna get one last shot of the candle burning. I was gonna be like, oh, I can film me filming this, but I can't because I need my camera to do it. So I'm gonna light the candle, film the clip, and the report's pretty much good to go. So when my lecturer talks to me today, he's like, how's it going? I'm gonna be like, done. Okay guys, we have the winning shot. Let's take a look. Oh, finish off the logo. Brilliant. Since this is like a uni vlog, I guess I can talk about uni stuff. But this class, Marketing 308, my favorite class. The lecture is awesome, the tutor's awesome, the assignment's awesome, the content is great. It's probably, no, actually no. I'm gonna come out here with an audacious statement. It is my favorite class that I've ever taken at university. It's just been so like hands-on, practical, but put like put into really easy to understand bite-sized pieces and it's just been so much fun. Alrighty, uni bag is packed for the uh the one the one class that I'm going to for the week. Okay, I'm at uni and I'm really, really hoping that no one walks past because that's gonna be terribly embarrassing for me. But oh, yeah, someone nice, nice. I am just logging in to pay for my parking. I only come once a week, so there's no point in me getting a pass, so I have to pay every time I come. But sometimes the app doesn't work, so when it doesn't work I just screen record it. So if I get a ticket I can be like, well, provide me with a service where I can actually pay and I will. I've got to class a lot earlier than I was anticipating. It's not even three o'clock yet. My class doesn't start till 10 past the hour. Also, when I was driving here, my brother taught me this trick. It's probably like, not the best thing to do, but you know when you're driving and you're going the speed limit, you're going, you're not going slow. And someone is like, like tailgating you for no reason at all. My brother taught me this trick where you check your windscreen wipers on and all the water goes back onto their windscreen wipers so then they have to wash anyway. I just find it quite amusing and so now I've started doing it and it, every time I giggle at myself and I can see them like turning their windscreen wipers on. You guys are coming with me but I'm just gonna put you in here so I don't have to humiliate myself. Hey guys, I'm at the traffic lights, heading home. That was the shortest class ever. It is currently quarter to four. I wasn't even on the premises for an hour. Yep, got my attendance points way to go and now I'm heading home to finish up my actual work day cook some dinner I feel like it's gonna rain or oh, the lights green right see you guys at home okay, go. work day is done and everyone is chilling in my room what's everyone up to we're both doing secret things we're both doing secret things Morgan has something exciting to tell you guys I broke your phone today. Wait, I, as you can see, I look physically and mentally and spiritually unwell. It is quarter past five and I'm gonna go start cooking dinner because I'm bored and hungry, so. Oh, I love it. <laughs> but I'm not gonna film because you guys have seen me cook dinner a million times over, so I'll give you guys a night off. And dinner oh, is ready. Look at that. It's almond crusted chicken with roast potatoes and parsnips and like a little balsamic salad. It looks unreal. Oh, oh, oh. Working gals, the mood is set. Mood lighting's on, fireplaces cracker lacking in the background. Morgan is making a PowerPoint. Taya is, I'm assuming, doing her assignment. Hi! Morgan's assuming her, her mum. I am reading this book. I started reading it on Saturday night. I am about a third of the way through and I'm eating chocolate bark and the vibes are on. What's the time? It's not, like, it's not even, oh, yeah. It's five past eight. This is what nights tend to look like. It's like dinner finishes, fairy lights turn on, and that's us for the night. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, it is 10 past eight, and it is time for me to start work for the day. It's been an eventful morning. 
Taya may have just broken her toe in the kitchen, but that's okay. She's got a plaster on it. I also had to clean my bathroom this morning because I think the builder's coming to fix my bathroom because this drawer is broken. I've had a look with a torch and stuff and there's something jammed in the rail like underneath this drawer. Something that I don't have the tools or expertise to fix. Um, and it's not under warranty, so the builder's gonna come over and have a look. Today, I don't have any actual uni classes, so today is just spent like catching up, doing assignments and stuff, which is kind of like my favorite day of the week, to be honest. So I need to do like an hour of work work, and then I can jump into my uni work for the day. It is 10.30, and I'm doing some uni stuff. I have a test tomorrow for digital business, so I am uh, making, they call it like a crib sheet. It's just a cheat sheet, in my opinion, which I don't understand. We get, we have to make a crib cheat sheet thing, which is the 10 marks, part of like the assignment. And then we get to use the cheat crib sheet thing. But then we also, the whole test is open books. We have access to all of our notes, all of the lectures, like everything. So I just don't understand the point. Of this anyway Rachel is here and Rachel has something really exciting to share with you guys so I'm gonna let her speak and um, <laughs> here you go the camera is coming to you okay hello vlog haven't seen you in a while so I wanted to share you some news <laughs> for the last two years <laughs> I've been writing a book the book is called have hope I don't know if it will it come up like I'll show you like this a devotional for daughters in christ by rachel masters at the back it's got a little blurb so it was created to spark hope in your heart encouraging you to pursue the calling god has for you so the book has 50 devotionals that i've been writing every devotional either has like a little testimony of my life or like mentions a bible story before i show you just so you know the first copy that i have isn't binded this is what the book kind of looks like on the inside. Like it's got a devotional here and a little scripture here. Um, so basically we've got heaps of different little topics. Shout out to Emma Stevens for doing the illustrations here. And my dad did the little drawings. Here is the contents page. Um, here you can see all the different topics um, I have for the book. It's been a little secret of mine, a little project. If you want to get your hands on a copy, you can. Go to the Instagram have.hope.book. Hi, Morgan's home. Um, and I have got my laptop and stuff and I'm going to do some study. I'm going to watch some lectures. Right. Aren't we, Morgan? We look like doctors. Yeah, we're ch chilling out in a doctor's with our comms degrees. <laughs> Good morning guys, today is Wednesday and it is so cold this morning. Do not be confused by the beautiful, it's not even a focus, beautiful blue skies. Four degrees right now. I woke up this morning and did a workout at like 6 a.m. and I was like, oh yeah, it's cold. It wasn't until like 10 minutes ago where I checked the temperature and I was like, oh, it's like cold, cold. <laughs> Love that. Um, today I'm about to start work and then probably do some study this morning because I have a test this afternoon from 2 till 5 and then I've decided it's my sister-in-law's birthday today so I've decided that I'm just going to impromptuly go home to Auckland tonight. I have just emerged from doing my work and it appears that everyone, oh there is some lunch left, fantastic. It appears that everyone has gone to uni. 9 o'clock and so I need to do some study for this test this afternoon but I don't want to do like test isn't until two personally i'm not a fan of afternoon tests because a i spend all day worrying about it feel like i should be studying right up until the second it starts which is not right and then secondly my brain just functions so much better in the morning not just not super stoked about that but what's there to do i've got the um the fake fireplace going on the tv to warm it up so if you're a student um just like a budgeting hack, you can put the fireplace on your TV so you don't have to run your heat pump and then you can just save money. Highly recommend. Hey guys, it's lunch. Got leftovers. Danny also has leftovers. Taya and Rachel also have leftovers. You know what, Morgan might have leftovers. Morgan might well. have leftovers too at this point. But yeah, it's lunchtime. I've done my midday shift at work. So I'm free woman for the afternoon, except for the three hour test that I have to do. Which is from two to five, and it's now 20 to one. So I'll have this and I might go for a walk. 
get some fresh air, come back and do a bit of cramming and then tackle my test. I probably shouldn't be vlogging right now, but my test starts in a minute. So excited, as you can tell. My walk was great. My mind feels clear. I'm ready to go. Got my cute. We're just going to call it a cheat sheet. Yay, it is 12 minutes past four. The test is done. I have my cute sheet. I'm screwing it up. It's going in the bin. I'm done. I need to do probably like half an hour more work and then I can uh, head home. I'm so excited. I haven't seen my parents in like two months because they've been away in their camper van doing whatever they do and i haven't seen owen in three weeks because he's had covid so i'm seeing him tonight as well and i'm very excited all right it is 20 past five and we are on the way i the neighbor's cats on the fence but stuff there and stuff in the boot and we're good to go happy birthday to you hooray 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 Good morning guys, change of scenery. Today is Thursday and I'm back home in Auckland. Feels nice to be here. Just cooking myself some toast. Got Vogels this morning. Don't get that in the student flat. Quarter to nine. I have a live lecture online at nine o'clock, which, oh sorry, no, it's quarter to eight. I have a live lecture at nine, but before I jump in that class at nine, I have to do my actual work for at least probably 45 minutes. Got my work from home set up, set up. And I'm just looking for similarities. It's pretty. This is my lecture. This is the same class I did the test for yesterday afternoon. And he's talking about the test. He said, oh, I don't really, I don't really mark them too harshly. I don't really have time. Just look for similarities. I'm like, you're telling me that I spent two and a half hours of my life doing a test. And you're just looking for similarities. You don't have time. Okay, sir. Back home now, it is 20 to 5 and I'm just finishing up at work. Um, I had to go out and grab some ink for my printer back in Hamilton. And what else did I have to do? Oh, I went to go visit my nana, which was so nice to see her. I haven't seen her in like three weeks, so it was very, very nice to see her. Um, but yeah, I need to finish up my work. And then we're heading to a friend's place for dinner tonight, who were also at dinner last night, um, because they're giving my parents haircuts. And I think I might get a haircut too. Just like... Good morning guys, we're on a wee bit of a time crunch this morning, I'm a little bit unorganised. Last night was great, I got a haircut, probably can't tell, I got like that much cut off. But yeah, this morning I woke up at 7, it's now quarter past 9, woke up, had a shower, got myself ready, and then I made some gluten free slice last night to take to Owen's flatmate. So I had to ice that this morning, I had to drop my car off up the road for a warrant of fitness. Um, I had to do my injection for my skin and I'm looking like this because I just had to take Instagram photos But I need to start work like right now because I'm running late. So um Yeah, today I'm working and then want to go see Owen this afternoon at his place All right, it is 1.30. I'm gonna get blisters from these I got, got these new shoes, Adidas forums if you were wondering, and they're so going to give me blisters, I can already feel it. I am going to close this vlog off here, I'm about to head over to Owens, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, this was really supposed to be like a typical week in the life, and it just really went south from there. If you're wondering, my car failed, it was Warren Fitness, so I have to use mum and dad's car for the next week, so uh... If you know, you know, but that's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching, um, if you guys want me to do one of these, it's more... accurate, I guess you could say, where I'm actually you know, in Hamilton, um, let me know. If you have any other university related videos you'd like to see from me as well, let me know. My time at university is nearing an end at the end of this year, so if you guys wanna see anything, let me know and I'll do my best to make it happen. But yeah, apart from that, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile and I'll see you in my next video. But no, I, yeah, okay, cool. So, oh my gosh, side note, I have the itchiest ankle. I'm reading my book, Eating Bark.